even better than OBJ's. Skip, the, the circumstances in which Jefferson caught the ball was more impressive. It's a 32-yard catch. It's fourth and 18. And right now, it's the catcher of the year. And I think it's going to end up being catcher of the year, Skip. It's probably going to win some kind of award with the NFL. Because if you look at it, Skip, if he doesn't make this catch, it's over. The game's over. And this is what, this is what Jefferson knows. It's kind of like a basketball player. Skip. He can't shoot the ball from here, so what does he have to do? He's going to have to bring the ball up, and so what am I trying to do? On the way up, I'm going to try to get it out because I know once you get to the top of your jump, I'm not going to be able to get it. He knows that if the guy has the ball, what does he got to do, Skip? He's got to bring it down. Well, my hand is in between him and the ball, so he's got to bring the ball down to me. So if I can just stay here just long enough, how this ball does not hit the dirt. Forget getting a hand on it, Skip. Did you see? The ball is right here. And somehow he holds on to it and pins it, takes it, pins it to his side, and it's a catch. It saved the day. Circumstances. Skip, look, I don't know what down it was, but it was – that, that made the score 7-3. OBJ catch, it was phenomenal. Oh, OBJ. OBJ's yeah, catch, yeah, was, yeah. It, it made it 7-3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't fourth and 18 no. in the fourth quarter do or die situation. No. And also Dallas came back and won the game. Given what he did with this skip on fourth down, now the now the Vikings are eight and one. They're the two seed in the NFC. Told your first cousin. I said, that's not your uncle's first cousin. That's five chains. And really? you saw what he did. You saw what he did. He did it again. Ten points on the road. Remember last week he did it at Washington? Came back and did it again against the Buffalo Bills, mm. who was the number one seed. Mm. Get our man his credit, give him his due. He outgunned him. Mm. Big gun. I told you what was going to happen. This was, this was unbelievable. I'm going to say because Jefferson's catch, when it happened, what it meant in the ball game, Skip, it, I mean, it's hard to say something. I mean, OBJ's catch was great. But Skip, it's the first quarter of a ball game. Mm. It, and that made the score 7-3. You had, and, and they lost the game. He doesn't make this catch. You're losing the game. They OBJ made that catch and they still lost the game. We know for categorical certain. If, if if he doesn't make this catch, if Jefferson doesn't make this catch, skip, they're losing. That's what we do know. Anything else we can speculate? Oh, was it the greatest ever? Who knows? I know this. If he does not make that catch, but it was, you know what, Skip? And not to get off there, but it served him right. You know Gabe Davis didn't catch that ball. They should have reviewed that upstairs. That ball hit the, you see that ball bounce like a basketball. So it was right that they got the ball and they fumbled in the end zone and they end up tying the game like they mm. uh, uh, taking the lead. But with that being said, Skip, this was a phenomenal catch. I still, I, I still don't know how he caught it. First of all, I don't know how he stopped it from hitting the ground. Okay, that's, that's normally incomplete. Because at that point in time, Skip, I'm just trying to break it up. Mm. But somehow he got his hand in there and was able, when the guy was bringing the ball down, trying to secure it to his body, look at it. He got the ball and he pins it. That's 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 the group. I know that's the best catch I've seen this, this year. I don't care college, high school, pro, NIA, Division two, FCF, subdivision, whatever division it is. That's the best catch. That's the catch of the year in 2022. Hmm. OK, you made about 10,000 points. I'm going to go to the first point. I'm going to go to this catch versus Odell's. It's not even in the same stratosphere with Odell's Odell's. Again, I give you circumstance. I definitely give you because my team came back and beat them on that night, which yeah. I thought was fitting of what Odell's early career was. But the point is, if I just do in a vacuum, which is the best catch, yeah. Odell's is completely so low. It is completely one hand by himself with nothing happening to that hand as he goes to the ground. He snatches it. If we can see the Odell catch first, please. If we'd see it one more time, this is all Odell all the time. He actually gets interfered with by Brandon Hughes' car. But he goes up and snatches it with one hand all the way back behind his head, hauls it back in to the number 13, and controls it to the ground as he hits on his back. Okay, now let's go to yesterday's catch of the century or whatever it is, catch of the, the, the all-time catch. The, the problem I'm having with this is that Cam Lewis, who is undrafted out of the University of Buffalo, getting his first start yesterday for the Buffalo Bills, he goes up and he's got two hands on the ball all the way to the ground. It's actually a bicycle built for two like the LeBron greatest block, the chase down block in game seven. It's actually Cam Lewis heavily assists on this catch because he's the one controlling the ball all the way to the ground because I don't believe 
that Justin Jefferson would have controlled the ball by himself. But because the kid's hanging, hanging onto the ball all the way to the ground, then it becomes a matter of who wants the ball the worst. And what I'm going to give Justin Jefferson high marks for is he just had higher desire to snatch the football. He wanted the ball worse than Cam Lewis wanted the ball as they hit the ground. And he just, with one hand, right. snatches it out of the jaws of defeat, which are the two-hand well, grabs. Well, well, probably, Skip, but his instincts doesn't tell him this. He'd have been better off just batting the ball down okay. like a Hail Mary. Okay, but his, inst it. but his instincts tells him what? Let me catch this football. Yep. Well, in order for you to catch the football. Well, he knows it's fourth and 18. Right. So he's going to do anything in his power to somehow rip the ball away from Cam Lewis. And it went all the way to the ground before he got a hold but of it. But he doesn't need to rip it away, Skip. If he knocks it to the ground, the game's over. Okay. That's all he needs to oh, do. Oh, you mean Cam Lewis? Yeah. I thought you yeah. meant. No, yeah. no, okay. no, no, yeah. no, no. Jefferson says, I got to try to oh, make absolutely. a play on this ball. Absolutely. But see, Lewis, Skip, he's getting the ball. No, I, I his got His instinct it. says, I got to bring it into me. If you so he's going to bring the ball. It. He's going to yeah. bring the ball right to okay. Jefferson. Okay, remember, Cam Lewis undrafted out of the University of Buffalo in his first start. Yes. So he's not thinking the way you're no, thinking. No, 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 no. We, we have the the advantage of sitting here looking at it cold. You know, we can look at it again and again and again. And I agree with you. He could have saved the game just with a fist. Just well, like just, just punch the ball, right? Just give okay. on the interception, though. Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> You and, said I was undrafted free agent. I want to get me that interception. Okay, I get a pick. plus – they had already picked Kirk Cousins twice. Yes. So, so I think they're thinking, well, he throws a lot of balls to us. So right. I'm going to go up and snatch this one over the top of arguably the best receiver right. in pro football who has been bedeviling us all day long. Yes. So he goes up and thinks, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. He's got two hands on the ball all the way to the ground, and he don't got it. Right. Because – that young man, he just wants the ball, man. Oh, he's balling. He's he playing out of his mind. It, it, it's like he, he's playing out of his mind, Skip. But Kirk Cousins has gotten to the point where it's sort of like Tua with his two receivers. Yeah. It just doesn't throw, matter where he is. Throw it you in. just look for 18 and throw it. It was kind of like Aaron last year with Devontae. You look for 17 and just throw it to him mm -hmm. the last few years in Green Bay. In this case, it's 18 or bust for Kirk Cousins. Can, can we see the first two throws of Kirk Cousins, the first two interceptions, please? If we could see there's one late first oh, and then no, one early third. They were third. terrible throws. This is the Kirk Cousins that you know and love. This is Kirk Cousins that Dallas is, is now 8-2 and two against. This is Kirk Cousins. He got it I, wide I, open. I, the I dude was wide open. He sailed okay. it on him. Air mail. Air mail. And at that point, I thought, well, you guys are in big trouble now. You're going to get run off the field. And here's the one early third quarter. Early I, third, little play action fake. I'm going to throw it to who? I, I don't know what I'm he, throwing it he, to. He, Thielen's over there, okay. but he, does, he just throws it blind. Like, he's not that far up the field. Okay. He ran the checks it down. Okay. He hit him early yep. in the game. Yep. Like, he, bro, what are you doing? Yep. He did get hit as he threw, but still, it was a terrible idea that turned into a terrible play. And all of a sudden, I look up, and would you believe that Buffalo is ahead in this game, what's it, 27 to 10? Yeah. 27 to 10? Yeah. So it's the reverse of what happened at Green Bay because in this case, the home team in the snow is snowing pretty hard for a while. They're ahead 27 to 10 with 151 in, right. left in the third quarter. Right. And then what happened? Josh Allen happened. Yeah. I've told you again and again and again. You rave about Josh Allen. I, I, I rave about his size and strength and speed and arm talent. He, he's got all that. Yeah. I just don't trust him in the biggest moments in the biggest games because he throws two. It, it, these are unforgivable cardinal sin violations. Well, he did throws, it last week, too, okay? through, at a pick in the Okay, so now he leads the NFL in red zone picks thrown. Yeah. And it's with four, and he's thrown them in the last three weeks. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, so can we see the first interception? This is early in the fourth quarter, 10-27. It's from fourth and two at the seven. He rolls out, rolls it's out. You, you can't do this. You just can't throw it to them, and Patrick Peterson snatches that one. And he got two of them yesterday. Yeah, he got two. Well, I'm about to get to the other one. Now, could we see? <laughs> okay, so Kirk Cousins, if we could see on the fourth and goal, it's fourth and goal from the one, and Kirk tries. It, his helmet looks like it's always too big for his head to me. He looks Look, like he, a he looked like he weighed like 175. Uh, no, I he don't can't know get no doing. leg drop. Well, what, what are you doing? He didn't even come close. Well, why would you even try that play? I have no idea, but he tried, and he failed. And all of a sudden, it looked like, well, it's game over. It's game over, Kirk. You, you I don't like that, right? <laughs> I, I don't like that. And all of a sudden, Josh Allen has the ball on the other side, and all he's got to do is get it out of the end zone, and the game's going to end, and he lost the snap. It's like he closed his hands early. I guess so.
It, he did. It, well, it, it looked like a decent snap. Yeah, it hit it right. Yeah, it looked But Skip, but like you said, now he's thinking, man, I got to get this snap and get out of here. He and he did. starts to move before he yep. fully gets the ball. He did. And it hits the ground. And, and Kendrick And can... unfortunately for him, they fell on it. Yes. Well, it's it's the ultimate worst thing. that can, it, It's your worst nightmare. It cannot happen. You, you just gave them a flip scored touchdown. Right. And all of a sudden I look up and wait a second, it's 30 to 30? So I'm sorry, it's 30 to 27. Yeah, so he drives them down and they got the field goal thanks to the, the play that wasn't overturned. To right. Gabe, Gabe Davis. Davis. Get I mean, that ball hit the ground. You can see that. It was uh, the Gabe Davis play was what is 24 seconds left, second and two at the 40. And you know, you can't challenge it, so it's got to be a, a, a booth review. Get that ball hit the ground. Blatant. This ball hit the ground. Watch this ball. It dribbles blatant, like a basketball. Come blatant, on. Look at this. Blatant, 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 blatant. Come on, man. Not to the ground. How can somebody in New York not say, stop it? Blow the whistle. They stop it all okay. the time. Okay. They you, do it all the time. Okay. And and Buffalo, to its credit, went to the line of scrimmage and ran a play. Yes. And all of a sudden, I'm saying, what? wait a second. Because we didn't even get to see the replay until after Buffalo had run a play. And then, obviously, it's too late. Right. So they get the little chip shot. Now it's 30 all. And then we go into overtime. And I, I got to show you one play. The, the play of the game to me, it, and I, I know the catch was a huge play, but the, the third and 10 at the 26 in overtime, the, they're third and 10 at the Buffalo 26. And Kirk Cousins just drops back and says, I don't know where 18 is, but I'm going to find him and just throw it somewhere in his direction. It looks like he's at least doubled, if not triple covered. And, and Cousins just says, watch this. I, I, I don't 